Slash, 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 jack of all trades, Christian Dior. At that point, I think I may just have to redo my, my title. My name is Christian Payton and my official titles here at Revision Marketing are um, marketing coordinator, content manager, and um, project lead slash social media rock star. How do you schedule social media content? It really goes like based off of how I'm feeling. Um, so with I know Sydney doesn't like this, but I usually go based off of like the Instagram feed. That's like my that's like my thing. Um, just because I feel like our in my head our audience is like younger, um, and so Instagram is such a big platform. So in order for it to like look visual, um, visually pleasing, I try to like have two columns that are like very similar on the outside, the two outer columns, and then the inner column usually is like very static with like the things that I post. The inside column is revision, and then the two outer columns, the left one is usually Entre Network, and then the right one is Young Creatives. And so the out two outer is usually like video and then something like static like a graphic or a photo and then it just switches vice versa. Uh, who's the person you credit most of your willingness to consistently learn? I would say my mom. I think for a long time I would have said my mom but now I would say like my younger sister like my youngest sister Amber. Um, she's definitely someone that like questions everything. Um, she has so many different interests and so She's always like calling me like, Christian, did you see, like last week or earlier this week, it was like, Christian, did you see Kanye West's like documentary on Netflix? And so she's always like telling me about some like new idea or something new. And um, it's always like encouraging me to like go and look for or look at what she's talking about or just go and um, research my own interest, like finding the time to research my own interest and to, to continue to like learn and teach myself things. Well, shout out to her. How was your creativity patched since working here? Um, when I first started, I even now I say all the time, like I'm not a creative, and it's not true. Um, but before, like when I first started, I had like zero faith in like any of my skills, or just like I didn't think that I could, that anything that I came up with was like good. Um, and I compared everything that I did to Michaela's or just like somebody else that I that I thought was a creative. Um, and so now I'm more confident in like saying, or even like trying, like now I'll actually try instead of just saying like, oh, I don't think that I'll be able to do that. Or um, it's just not as good. Like sometimes I know my designs aren't good. So I just say it before like people look at them. But um, yeah, I'm way more confident with even like trying now. How has working for a small business changed your perspective of small businesses? Um, so, I think every job that I've ever had has been a small business now that I think about it and but it's never been like this so this is like my first big girl job I say that all the time um, I have a lot of respect for small businesses because like there is no like certain avenue that like you work in so when I got hired on it was like marketing coordinator and so you're thinking like oh like my like my role like my avenue that I'm gonna go down is like everything marketing but that's not the case like you're literally pulled every which way in the best way. So like you're getting all these different skill sets and like all you're you're like growing your skill set and you're getting all this different knowledge um, in like pretty much every area of the business. And so you're I think working for a small business, like you you become more of like a well rounded, like full individual as far as like growing your skill set. So I've learned a lot here working for a small business. And it's it's not it's not super it's not easy um, because you don't necessarily get the benefit of like focusing on marketing um, where you would get that um, at like at like at a bigger corporation and working for a small business is especially like a newer like startup small business it's like you're it's like the growing process so you're growing through a lot of things with the owner or whoever like you're like you're literally growing together as professional so it's a really neat and cool experience tell us one thing no one knows about you as it relates to social media um i think that i've said that i hate social media before um yeah, yeah. like on the podcast i think i've said that before i talk to my friends all the time mainly Isaac because he's the model friend, but um, I really want to like work on like building a portfolio and like presenting me, like my personal brand, like to the world on social media. Um, and so 
Yesterday I was talking to somebody and I was saying that that's something that I really enjoy about like making videos because photos are very static and like the caption of a photo, like I feel like making captions for a photo is so, it's harder than actually getting a photo. And so um, with video, it's like I, people get to truly see who I am. So that's something that I'm like working on. Um, and that's really why I love the podcast and just like making like short form videos. Um, people get to truly see like me as a person, like my personality, rather than like me just posting like a cute picture. And then that's all they get is like just that one side of me. So video allows people to see like the different layers of me. And that's something that no one knows. Well, they will now um, <laughs> once this video gets released. But yeah, that's something that like no one knows about me or no one knows yeah, about me as it relates to social media. Does that mean you're back on social media? That means I'm like officially trying to like get back on, I'm trying. Cause it's like definitely a, it's a tough process for me because I have such a love-hate relationship with it, but it's like a great tool. Um, I learned that with the whole Sage thing, but it's just such a useful tool. And then like meeting people and like finding like your community or like people like that also have like the same niche as you. It's just like the perfect tool to network with people like across the world. So, I'm trying. <laughs> if you started a nonprofit, what type would it be? How would you incorporate our pillars in your startup strategy? If I started a nonprofit, it would definitely be something geared towards like women. I really, I want so many. Like, I want to help everyone. That's that's not a problem. But um, I think this first one would be like geared more towards middle school high school like girls specifically like black girls just because i mean i know there were a lot of programs that i wish i like would have had um so for me personally that would be the reason why and then our pillars are social media uh, website technology and podcasting so i would definitely incorporate social media just because i just said it's such a great marketing tool um, and then even with like the short, like the podcasting or just like short form videos, um, allowing people to like see your face and like put a face with the name. And then it's just easier for people to trust you as a person when it's like they can go to, go to your website or go to your social media profiles and like see you actually interacting with people or like see you like, you know, just doing what you love essentially instead of that's what that's pretty that yeah that's it i would definitely incorporate social media and podcasting or short for, short form videos just for the fact for the simple fact that social media is a great marketing tool and then podcasting or the short form videos um it's not pictures so it's not like super made up it's not like perfect it's not like super professional it's just like literally you talking to whoever is listening and then like getting insight on like who you are as a person. I don't know, technology, I probably would ask Sydney to help me set up like some type of system or something. Um, Cause you know, that's what he loved to do. So those are, I would, I would definitely incorporate those things in my startup business plan for my nonprofit. Oh, yeah. That's it. You wanna redo your intro?